Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Today I want to come to you with a little bit of Facebook help. I've noticed an increasing confusion uh, between the terms Facebook profile, Facebook page, and Facebook group. So I just want to kind of put some information out there and hopefully alleviate some of the confusion. A Facebook profile, and this is my current profile, but a Facebook profile is your Facebook account. So if all you've ever done in Facebook is to set up an account, that is your profile. It is not a page, so don't say, I just uploaded a photo to my page. No, you uploaded that to your profile. This is where you upload all your photos to share with your friends and where you post every, um, every time you post, it's going to be on your profile. If you are somewhere online and, and you see something you really want to share and you click the share to Facebook, this is where it's going all on your profile. Your profile on Facebook needs to be your name. And this is not my rules. This is Facebook rules. The terms, uh, the user agreement, terms of use state that we are only allowed to have one profile and it needs to be our name. So I could not, for instance, change my name to Crafty, Crafty Kate or Yarn Diva or Scrapbook Sue. I cannot change it to something like that because it's not my name. Um, it's how you are identified as a human being. <laughs> anyway, I found out by accident because uh, years ago I did have two profiles. I didn't realize at the time it was wrong. And someone reported my second profile to Facebook. And so that's how I found out all this information from them. So your real name, who you are. Every time you post, you can, in your settings, by the way, you can change it so that your um, profile is only visible like this much and nothing else to strangers. Um, but if you don't change those settings, anyone in the world that wants to look at your profile and looks up your name is going to see everything you've posted. So you need to be careful about that. With the exception of every single time you post next to the, the post, there's either a picture of a world or a picture of a couple people. You select whether that is going to be shared with the world or share with friends only. So totally up to you on each individual post. In addition to in your settings, you can change some of that. Okay, so when people search for you, this is what they see as your profile. On your profile, you have a profile picture and you have a cover photo. And then you would also see this timeline about friends, photos, archive, more. These are the things that people can click on and they can click on uh, uh, send friend request, which is over here. Obviously, I can't, I can't see that on mine because I can't send myself a friend request. Um, I do have my settings turned up so that only uh, friends of friends can send me friend requests now. So you might not see a friend request there from me either. So this profile, your account, is what you're using to create pages and groups. Okay, this is not a page. This is not a group. But you can use your account to set those up. A page would look like this. This is my page currently. It is started by your account. You can have as many pages as you want. These are more like to promote a business or um, a public figure, like let's say Tom Cruise. He his would be a he would have a page, uh, and then he would use it to promote his businesses and himself as a public figure. Target, Starbucks, uh, Wendy's, all of those would be pages. Okay, so this is my page for Lollipalooza, which is my YouTube channel name. And you would see instead of a profile picture, there's usually a logo. And then there's still a cover photo. Under mine, you, it would say like, follow, etc., share, and shop now, where you take you right to my store. I'm not sure why they have like and follow. It doesn't make sense to me. You can follow it without liking it. <laughs> But if you like it, it automatically follows it, meaning uh, that my comments, my posts would be showing up in your newsfeed, except YouTube algorithms have changed that somewhat, unfortunately, so not everyone sees our posts. Um, but anyway, on a page, again, it's, it's to promote something that you are doing. Um, so a lot of crafters use pages. Now, I can post here, and then everyone can interact with that post, but... It's really difficult for someone that follows my page to post here. They can message me and we can communicate or they can reply to my post, but they just can't post and share photos. It doesn't really show up my timeline very visibly. So that is the difference between a profile and a page. 
So the confusion seems to lie when someone asks me, did you see what I shared on Facebook? And I'll say, no, uh, what was it? And they said, oh, I shared it to my page. And I'd say, I didn't know you have a page. I'm not following any pages of yours. They said, yeah, it's on my page, but they really mean it's their profile. So they just mean they shared it, not in a page. So the other option then is a Facebook group. Now a group would look like this. There's no profile picture. There's no um, logo, although you can create a logo. It's just, just this cover photo is it. And then it says you joined and then whether you want notifications and some more things going on down here. Now a group is something that it requires membership. It could be a secret group, a public group, an open group, a closed group. There's different kinds of groups, but groups are all about like interests. So they're theme based. There's interaction in a group. And so this is where you really get to know people. Groups have rules and it's up to us as members when we apply to membership. It's up to us to know what those rules are and to look them up. There's always if they have rules, they're in the group somewhere, either in a file or on the side when over here when you open the group on a computer. They also have administrators or admins, and those people are the ones that can have the authority to delete your post or your comments. Let's say they have a policy against rudeness and they think maybe your comment was rude. They may delete that. So there are admin in groups. And uh, members, because it's more interactive because members can actually post. They can share their pictures. They can share video links. They can share all sorts of things in a group that they can't really on a page. Also, you can schedule events in a group. Like they can say, they say hey, there's an upcoming challenge. There's an upcoming swap. Um, and they can create photo albums. Besides just sharing a photo now and then, they can create a whole photo album of all of their photos given a certain theme. And all the members can see that. There can be organized swaps. There can be files full of resources. I do that. I create documents in my groups for my members to be able to use as resources and look up and there's links on them. So those are always very helpful. So some groups could be, uh, like I said, like themes would be some sort of craft. My groups tend to be um, one specific craft, like paper art group. It's paper clip art group, I'm sorry. So that one is all about paper clips, decorating paper clips. And so we only allow posting about paper clips, paper clip art, et cetera, um, or a question about how to find supplies for those things. This one, Lollapalooza Peeps, Crafty Hangout, any craft, any creativity is allowed. So again, you just need to know your group rules. There are groups for cooking groups, I know. There are groups for groups in within your town, for instance. You can look up your town and say, hey, is there a rummage sale group in my town? Um, so groups, there are thousands upon thousands of them in Facebook. So that is the difference between a profile, which is your account, and off of which you create your pages and your groups. I hope that is more helpful and makes a little bit of sense. I will put these pictures at the end of this video and also look in the video description down below and you will see a little bit of uh, what I've shared in the video. I will write it out for you again in case you need a refresher. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your comments, your thumbs up, and for subscribing.